Hi guys, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. So funerals, weddings, and pre-service slideshows are a few reasons you might need to create a photo slideshow and display it on your screens. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how ProPresenter 7 makes this a super easy task. So let's get started. To begin, let's create the most basic slideshow. So when someone hands you that flash drive full of photos, we're gonna save those to our computer. Now inside of ProPresenter, we need to create a playlist to store the media. And if you don't see the media bin, click the button to open it. In the bottom left, click plus add playlist. If these photos are for one time use, it's especially important to add them to their own folder so we can delete them from the system once the event is over. Now we're gonna drag and drop our images from the file explorer or finder window straight into the playlist we created. And now that we have the images, we can create a new presentation by going to file, new presentation. Then just drag and drop the photos into the slides from the media bin. Well, congratulations, we have now created a slideshow presentation. Now to make the slides advance from one to the next on their own, select all of the slides, then right click and select go to next timer. Set the time duration and check mark loop at end, which causes the last slide to loop back to the beginning of the presentation. And if you ever find that you've deleted the last slide, just right click on the new last slide, click go to next and check mark loop at end. Sometimes you're gonna to wanna to add videos in with the photos loop. Let's look at that video that I just imported in with the folder. It currently acts just like one of the photos. It displays for the same amount of time and then it moves on. The good news is that we can change this because we want the full duration of the video to play. So find the video in the media browser folder, right click on it and change the behavior from background to foreground. Now delete the old one out of the presentation and then redrag this video into our slideshow and into our presentation. Right click on it and add go to next timer, but instead of setting it how many seconds you want it to remain on the screen, change the time to zero. Because it's now in foreground mode, the video will play out its full duration. The next step to a presentation is to figure out what music to play. You may have already been told to play a specific playlist, but if you have some songs downloaded or have ripped songs from a CD, I recommend playing them through ProPresenter. Create a specific playlist for things like weddings and funerals. This way you have songs ready to go at any time. Now, within just a few minutes, we have a simple presentation loop, but if you have a little bit more time, we can make things a lot more professional looking. Do you see how this image doesn't really fit the screen? There are these black borders on each side because the image was taken as a portrait and not a landscape. It looks great on the iPhone that took it, but not on the wide screen. You also can't see it super well because of how it's framed, so this would be a big upgrade for it. So here I wanna take a look at some of the scaling settings inside of ProPresenter, and this uh, slide here I got is that portrait image, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this so I can make some changes to it. And I'm gonna change this from scale to fit to scale to stretch to fill. So scale to fit is gonna make it a fit in the parameters of the slide. Stretch to fill is gonna make it a wide it's gonna pull it wide. And I'm gonna do this one more time and I'm gonna try this time scale to fill. So this one is going to keep the proportion but it's gonna cut stuff off. So if I open up the inspector with that image, I can go to the properties tab and I can also change the scaling in here but I can also change the alignment. So if we do like top center, now we'll be able to see uh, the top section of him which that looks a lot better without taking this image into like Photoshop and sizing it like that. Bringing it into here is really a really great option. Uh, I'm gonna also crop it and then I can bring down the top so we can even, without using Photoshop, we can really make it really precise in here. So if I just close this and click on this image one more time, beautiful, that's about the best we can do with an image like this. You can also work with effects on the images. Go to the media bin and right click on the image, select inspector and go to the effects tab. I took a stroll through all of the effect options available and these are some of the crazy things I came up with. I'm not really sure if this is super practical but they can be layered so you could probably come up with some sort of cool look. Adding a prop might be the best additional thing you can do to make your presentation top notch. To create a prop, go to the prop menu, click plus to create a new prop, and now you can put any text images or shapes on the screen. Props are overlays, and to display them over our slideshow, we just need to drag and drop it to the first slide. Here are a few examples of how props can be used. You could add your logo over the presentation to display your brand during the slideshow. For a funeral, you could add the name of the deceased and their year of birth and death. 
On Sundays at my church, we have a photo loop playing pre-service, so we use props to add an overlay. Prior to the service, we also switch the prop to include a countdown timer. Then for 1014 Youth Nights, we have our 1014 Youth logo over the images. Well, thanks for joining me for another video. I make training content for teams and individuals to do church and event production with excellence. See you next time.